Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for May 12th, 2023. Well, happy Friday, everyone. Yesterday was a little bit of a seesaw back and forth day again. We had regional bank issues uh, cropping up, brought some sellers into the market. And this morning we see those bulls coming back in, pushing us right back up into the same chop range. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. I truly truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts and see if we can glean some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Well doggone it, we continue to chop in this range and I had suggested this before the earnings that we might get stuck in a bit of a range as we waited for earnings. Well now we're mostly through the earnings season and we're still stuck and if you look across here of all of the days that we have been stuck in this range um, we have spent the better part of this year just chopping in a range here on the diamonds and it, yesterday we broke down below that little support area in the chart and this morning we're gapping up to be right back in that um, chop range here in the market so pretty um pretty frustrating market i've been getting a lot of comments from folks that are frustrated it's and certainly understand that uh, we we can't really seem to get much direction going volumes have been relatively low um, what's remarkable is fear has also been low so when we take a look at this chart at the diamonds and wonder, well, okay, what, what happens today? Well, I would say if those bulls get inspired here and um, there's every reason to believe they could because we've seen Fridays has been a pretty good bullish day here lately, that maybe we press this on up and see if we can retest some of these resistance levels up here in the chart. Um, if the bulls, uh, excuse me, if the bears were to find inspiration, then maybe a retest back down here, particularly if we fail back through this area. You might want to notice that in, in within this uh, chart pattern here, we have almost a head and shoulders pattern that has started to develop here on um, on the diamond. So we may want to be keeping an eye on that. I certainly don't want to suggest the market is bearish because as long as we can keep the big tech giants pushing to the upside, they have the ability to lift the, the overall indexes. And that's really what's been happening. The, the big tech giants have been doing most of the lifting while everything else is kind of struggling in the market. Um, the reason for the pop up here this morning is we have um, some of the regional banks are trying to bounce back here a bit today. That's relieving some of that pressure. But when you look at KRE, there's obviously not much going on. Whoops, and there's not much going on in, in this that would be all that exciting just yet. Still running in this ugly downtrend and just not looking so good. As I think there's more banking issues ahead of us unless the Fed makes some kind of decision to, uh, to change uh, policy here. Let's take a look at our uh, technicals here in the chart. You can see we um, held the 50 day moving average again yesterday. We still have our 34, uh, eight exponential moving averages over the top, our 20 day moving averages over the top. That's creating a, a little bit of a moving average squeeze. We even have that 500 day moving average in there trying to put a lid on the diamond so still a little bit of uncertainty here in that diamonds whether we're going to be able to break out or not it seems to me that as we continue this process we're winding up for a big move now that big move i can't tell you if it's going to be up or down but um, i think we're winding up for a big move here 
um, in the future. So watch that. Watch for that carefully. And and I think you have to be a little bit careful not to over trade this market. If you get overly confident on the long side, that a, a big move to the down uh, side would be pretty much. Uh, well be very painful and uh, vice versa if you were overly short so kind of keep that in mind um what i've been uh, talking about in right way options is um, this idea that when you take a look at the market condition and we see that market condition as being neutral here in the diamonds it's it's not the best environment to to be trading in and, and we'll go through this is kind of a neutral we can't quite figure out which way this is going to go so kind of that neutral environment if we take a look at the spy well it's about all you can say is the spy is still in the neutral environment and what as well we're still stuck in this uh choppy zone now of course we're a little bit above the middle line here in that choppy zone so if those bulls find inspiration today maybe we retest these areas up in here and then even take that press to the upside um, into that into that uh, big resistance area if big tech particularly uh, presses to the upside we could see that continuing here in the spy if you pull this chart back you can really see what we've been battling against we've been battling against a major resistance area in the chart and as we continue to process what's going on with the regional banking situation, the rate situation, the debt ceiling situation, uh, there is just so much uncertainty out there um, in the market. It's hard to get that momentum going in, uh, in a direction for a while. So watch that closely. Maybe we can find enough inspiration today to move up through there. If the, if the bears find inspiration here today, well, I, I would suggest retesting back down here in this level um, in the chart. And, and of course, if that were to fail, then we start looking at the lower side area here on that. Um, looking at our moving averages we're much more bullish here on the diamonds you can see our the 34 our 8 exponential the 20 uh, moving average is just just below price action here in the chart so a bit more on the bullish side and that makes sense because we have more of the tech giants um, that are in the spy versus the dow so i've got to give this this index um, uh, maybe a little bit more of a bullish lean while at the same time pretty darn um, neutral in this choppy zone that we continue to move around in and then if we were to take a look at our qqq this is a very different story here in the qqq when we look at qqq this is obviously very very bullish we've broken through that resistance here to the upside what's interesting is as we've broken through it's been really strained to move much and and it has been only some very select tech giants moving to the upside so um, we may be running out a little out of a little steam here the momentum is not all that strong notice yesterday volume was quite low and the, the day before we had good volume because well we started off the day with a pretty heavy volume in selling so um it's pretty hard to get momentum when we don't have much for volume so if those bulls can remain inspired here, well then I'm gonna suggest that we could push um, right up into this area of the chart. You can see we've got some price resistance areas right through here. We may be squeezing our way up toward there in the QQQ. This is our bullish index and um, the only one that I would say continues to um, move in that, uh, that bullish upside pattern here. So um, QQQ definitely bullish so we have two somewhat neutrals um, one bullish and then if we look at IWM well unfortunately there's nothing here bullish um, we continue to stay, remain under some serious resistance here in the chart um, remain under this downtrend we attempt and we attempt we attempt we're not breaking through that up there but if those bulls find inspiration today maybe we give it another shot and see if we can break that resistance to the upside if the bears find inspiration well a little bit of price support in here maybe we'll test that area and potentially down here if uh, that were to fail so 
keep a close eye. This one has to come in on the bearish side. So two neutral, one bullish, one bearish. Uh, we're kind of stuck in the mud. Um, and um, the more and more we spin the tires um, on that vehicle stuck in the mud, it seems like we're just digging a deeper hole for the moment. So we need some kind of inspiration to get us moving here in the markets. If we take a look at our VIX, our VIX here, well, doggone it, we continue to be really stuck i mean that's all i can that's the best word i can come up with we we uh, get a little bit of fear starting to move in and say the bears are coming in the, the regional banking issue the worries of debt ceiling you know coming along and and then it it falters by the end of the day and we push that all back down and um, so we're just continuing to be range bound here um, in the vix these two ranges here is what we're going to have to watch. Um, if the bulls find inspiration, well, let's see if we can break the bottom of this range and start breaking down through those 16 handles. If the bears find inspiration, well, let's look up here into that 18, 19 area um, of uh, the VIX. And uh, we just continue to swing around and chop here on low volume. If we take a look at our uh, T2122, our T2122 yesterday pulled back. We were uh, back below that 50% area here in the market. But, you know, even with um, CPI data, PPI data, a little bit of mix in that, um, we just couldn't get any momentum uh, going. And this was not the week I was expecting. I was expecting we would either get that big pop to the upside or the downside, and we just kind of continue to wander around here. So in our T2122, it does suggest if the bulls find inspiration, we've certainly opened an upside opportunity if we can get something going here in the market. And if the bears find inspiration, well, we still have plenty of downside opportunity as well if those bears were to come up with some reason to be inspired today if we take a look at our t2108 t2108 is the percentage of stocks holding above their 40-day moving average and you can see yesterday we pulled back but it wasn't enough pullback in here to to raise any alarm bells at all as a matter of fact we continue to stay stuck between a um, resistance zone and a support zone here in t2108 um can't seem to break out of that 41 percent of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average not exactly anything that you would say is tremendously bearish but it's pretty hard to build a really big bullish case on that as well if we look at our uh, t2107 well t2107 continues in that pattern where we've got that downtrend going on here we've got this head and shoulders pattern in here that is obviously not the happiest of patterns to be watching uh to be seeing and if we were to look right in here we're stuck right here between a resistance and a support level in the chart yesterday we pulled back a little bit 37 38 percent of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average that's a pretty tough case to build that this is a really bullish uh, market here uh, with so few holding above their uh, 200 day moving average but it can also be a case that maybe we're a little bit um, overly bearish right now and, and we can catch a little lift in that chart so um, I'm not holding out a whole lot of hope that today's going to be that big day when we break these ranges but who knows maybe it will be and then if we take a look at our t2101 well t2101 hooked yesterday showing that we might have a bit of a momentum shift but if you'll notice in here we um, broke down below this kind of support area in the chart hooking back up maybe we can get that maybe this hook in here means we're going to get a little upside momentum to shift that um, obviously uh, momentum has just been really low here in the market we're going to need something to inspire us one way or another uh, i kind of suspect we're going to spend a good part of the day chopping to the upside 
but um, without a whole lot of momentum or direction to move us along unless there's something in the news that comes along to really move us big. Let's take a look at our economic calendar. Now our economic calendar has a couple of things we'll want to be paying attention to here this morning. Nothing um, huge, nothing major um, um, to be worried about because we, we have tended to ignore um, some of these numbers here lately, um, they just haven't meant anything to the market. So uh, let's keep an eye on those. But we've got um, import export prices that will be out this morning uh, before the bell. We've got consumer sentiment um, that's coming out. Consensus is suggesting import export prices. Well, n n not maybe a tiny little improvement there um, they're suggesting that consumer sentiment um, is going to decline um, uh, today so uh, keep an eye on that uh, whether that'll provide any inspiration or not i don't know and then we've got a couple of fed speakers here today um, one will be well after the bell so no particular worries there to be paying attention to and then of course the baker he is ring count which I doubt we'll move the market at all. So um, that's what we've got for our economic calendar. On our earnings calendar today, we have a very light day um, of notables. Um, we're starting to wind down our earnings season. So there is no blog today. I decided uh, it's a good day to do no blog um, because, well, there's just not much um, on on. Um, that economic calendar or earnings calendar to be too excited about today so i've come up with two for the notables here today uh emvc might be something you want to pay attention to as a potential notable and spb as a potential notable today looks like that's moving to the downside pretty sharply on its earnings report so uh, keep an eye on those and that's really it there's some very small caps out there reporting but really not much on that notable front here today in earnings how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could please do me that favor that would be click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow thank you so much uh, for everyone who does leave those comments, um, uh, supporting supporting the effort to put the these videos out, I do truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And once again, just a big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel through the Buy Me a Coffee link that's just right below the title of the video. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at some of these charts. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You've got to do your own due diligence. Be really, really careful in here because the way the market's acting, um, anything is truly possible. So let's take a look at a couple things here that, um, well, uh, could be a, a trade coming along. It's not quite ready here. Um, so obviously Disney had a pretty rough um, earnings report here and um, punished pretty heavily here in the market. What I'd be watching for here in the in Disney, I wouldn't be chasing this as a short, but any rally back up here, I would be looking for that resistance area for that potential failure here on Disney. And I had mentioned that Netflix um, yesterday might have, um, whoops, that Netflix might have a little bit of uh, pain as a result of the Disney um, earnings, but no, it, it uh, didn't have any pain at all. In fact, it was benefiting from the Disney pain. And you can see Netflix had a really good day yesterday, pushing through this resistance and this downtrend. So one of the patterns that I always look for in the market, um, as a matter of fact, we, uh, we call it a tried and true pattern. And, and that is when we uh, break a downtrend in a chart, we push through. I don't want to chase the push through. I want to wait for the higher low and the resumption of a trend. And this is where 
the actual upside trend begins. So watch this for a little rest or pullback in that chart. Um, Nvidia could be uh, coming along and setting up to that upside move. Now I'm going to put AMD in that same category. AMD had a bad earnings report. Uh, well, at least a, a bad reaction to the earnings report. We gapped down here on that and then it was revealed the next day that AMD was in a collaboration with Microsoft to create um, AI chips and uh, that kind of thing. And boy, this thing just went like crazy off to the races here, everyone chasing in. Well, now that we've broken back above this downtrend and broken back above this um, support level in the chart, now what we wanna look for is again, we wanna look for that rest or pullback. We wanna look for that lower risk entry into that trade. And then, hey, there may be some upside opportunity coming here in AMD. So keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at um, FedEx. Now FedEx is, continues to chop in this range, but that's okay. Um, and when we look at a chart like this and we see all of this congestion out here in the chart, um, it's pretty common that we get stuck in a range here. But what I wanna point out is that we're moving into this upside trend. So as we move over here, let's watch a FedEx in here, if that can get moving, Remember, if we're going to be a bullish market, we need to see those consumers out spending. And so much of what is happening is uh, uh, nowadays is people spend and, and have it shipped to their home. So we need to see those, um, those shippers doing pretty good. So watch that carefully to see if that can break on through to the upside. As you guys know, I've been mentioning these... Um, defensive sector areas here for some time and we continue to see that defensive sector here's walmart moving back up we're retesting this resistance level these highs here in walmart to see if we might be able to pop on through in that and there is a reason why we might be rallying up we're going to have earnings on 518 so maybe we're just rallying into those earnings reports here on walmart but watch that closely that's holding up very very well and when we look at some of these old um old boring companies out here like schmuckers take a look at this nice little cup and handle pattern formed here on schmuckers really beautiful little pattern setting up we're sliding this out here toward the trend so watch that carefully we might see some more upside here in schmuckers i've been unbelievably impressed with the way PepsiCo has, has uh, been acting. It is just up, up, and up. Now, I wouldn't want to chase it here. A little rest or pullback was, would be what I would be interested in, but these defensive sector stocks, it's pretty hard to deny um, their strength here in the market. Mondelez trying to stretch on higher here after breaking through resistance. We continue to see Hershey in this nice little consolidating pattern sliding over here to trend once again and that opportunity that this could find that interest to the upside. And if you just take a look at um, um, the consumer staple sector itself, there's that break of that downtrend and we just continue to stretch here to the upside. We are pressing some resistance levels in the chart, but very, very strong here overall in that sector. So continue to look at that. Um, take a look at Palo Alto. Palo Alto really shot up here just recently. And as you can see, back through some resistance in the chart, and now we're starting to challenge this resistance up here. If this little resting pullback in here um, comes down and holds a little price support in there, look for the next opportunity there in Palo Alto. So keep an eye on that. Now, I think I would be a little bit remiss if I don't continue to make mention of what's going on here in um, the dollar and its relationship to some of these commodity prices, oil and gold. Um, looking for a pretty good gap up here this morning. You can see in the pre-market, big old pop and drop happening in there, but all of a sudden we're seeing a rebound in, um, in uh, the dollar. And if the dollar is going to strengthen, well, let's look for gold and silver to retreat 
a bit and you can see we've got in the pre-market gold looking lower silver had a pretty rough day yesterday uh, breaking down sharply and following through to the downside so a little bit of pressure here in the precious metals as that continues and that's also one of those things where we start to see some of those bond yields pulling back um, um, helping bonds so if you take a look at some of the bond funds they've been stuck in this range here uh, BND we might actually be seeing a little bit of relief in those bond yields with the hopefulness that the Fed is going to be done raising rates for just a little while so watch that carefully if those break out these can really take off when they break out so keep an eye on BND maybe TLT um, and by the way I have a bias in here I'm holding TLT um, to the long side on a longer term hold these little rising lows if that were to break to the upside there is some opportunity there that could come in pretty quickly so keep an eye on some of those if the bond yields are going to come down with the hope that the fed is done raising rates watch for those to gain some popularity here again so with that guys i want to wish you all a fantastic day thanks so much for being here i truly appreciate it i want to wish you a productive and profitable day and a wonderful restful weekend and i'll see you right back here bright and early monday morning everyone take care be safe and i'll see you the other side of the weekend wish you all the best